that is also the same, 13 centimeters here. Um, we need to know this, which is the circle. In order to find that out, we have to do the circumference formula of a circle. Circumference finds the measurement around the circle, okay? And circumference is C equals two pi R is a circumference formula. So circumference equals two times pi, which is 3.14 times the radius. The radius is this little line, this little halfway line. So they gave us a semicircle, which is a half of the circle. This line right here is the radius. Because of course, this is the other side of the circle that we don't know. And this is the other side of the radius. So we have C equals two times 3.14 times 2.5, okay? Now I'm gonna use my calculator to figure out what that is. So I'm gonna grab my calculator. And I'm gonna do two times 3.14. So we get two times 3.14, uh-oh. Two times three, make sure you press the numbers good and you look at it, make sure it's correct, times 2.5. So 31.4 would be the circumference of a whole circle. Well, we don't have a whole circle, we have a half of a circle. So C equals, you take 31.4 and you divide it by two and you get 15.7. So from here to here is going to be 15.7 centimeters. That means on this side, this is also going to be 15.7 centimeters. So now let's see if we have all the numbers that we need for our perimeter. We have this side, which is 13. We have this side, which is 13. And don't get confused with the lines on the inside. We're only looking for the outside numbers for perimeter. We have 15.7. That will give us the number to this whole line. From here to here is 2.5. Here to here is four, five, four. This little piece is 2.5. From here to here is 15.7. Okay, so let's add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers together. So I'm gonna go down here at the bottom and I'm gonna rewrite the numbers that I do have. So I know that I have 13, 13. I have 15.7. I have 2.5, I have four, I have five, four, and then I have 2.5 again, and then I have 15.7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers. So let me get my calculator, add those together. 13 plus 13, plus 15.7, plus 2.5, plus four, plus five, plus four, plus 2.5, plus 15.7 is equal to 75. So let's see if that is correct.
Let's go back. So I see 13, 13. Let's see, c squared is 2 pi r. A pi r. K times pi times the radius 2.5. Oh, I made a mistake. <clears throat> Let's go back up here. 2 pi r is your circumference. Um. I'm sorry, I didn't clear out my calculator, guys. You see how easy that is to make that mistake? So I had to redo it again. So I have 2 times pi, which is 3.14, times 2.5 is my radius. Gives me 15.7, not 31.4. So let me erase that. Sorry. So this is actually... 15.7 and then we have 15.7 divided by 2 since it's a half of a circle which is 7.85 so 7.85 centimeters equals a half of a circle so I'm gonna go back up here and change this to 7.85 8.5. And those of you that were following along and caught the mistake along the way, kudos for you. Kudos for you. And this is 7.85. So now we're adding, let's change those two numbers from 15.7 to half of that, which is 7.85, 7.85. So let me add those numbers up again and see what we come up with. All right, let's see. So I have 13 and 13. All right, so I have 13 plus 13 plus 7.85 plus 2.5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 2.5 plus 7.85 is equal to 59.7 and it said round it to the nearest centimeter. The nearest centimeter means the nearest whole number. The nine is greater than five, um, four or less, let it rest, five or more, raise the score. So this raises to 60 centimeters rounded. So when we look at our answer choice, it said the perimeter is A, 44 centimeters, 52 centimeters, 60 centimeters, or 83 centimeters. And we see our answer choice right here, which is H, 60 centimeters. And that's it.